two of the songs on the record, Sweet Child of Mine and You Give Love a Bad Name, were released when you were... Which, what did you say first? Uh, Sorry. You, uh, Sweet Child of Mine. Sweet Child of Mine. They were released when you were 18, 19, something oh, like that. Really? I think, I think so, yeah. <laughs> were you into that sort of rock music at the time? No, I wasn't actually into um, most of this music when it came out. Um, it, when, it, when it launched and, and became became the songs that they became. I actually, I, I've, I've said it before many times in interviews, I, I didn't really have a strong connection to listening to a lot of music. As a child, I actually watched more television and went outside and played. So I wasn't big on music. Um, it just was around the house a lot because my father was a crooner and my mother was a musical theater actress so nothing to the music that I sing but music was around the house a lot so I didn't really probably miss it in an interesting way because I guess there was melody in the house but it wasn't quite the melody that most people when they are artists they grow up you know being attached to certain artists I didn't really have that I just sort of grew up you were in a concert goer no. in your teens? No. no. No, I barely could go out as a teenager. My mother yeah. kept me pretty strapped in the house. <laughs> <laughs> so my, my 30s were my 20s for me, you know, a late bloomer. Okay, how then did this selection of songs come about? Well, once I, once I was able to secure a producer, um, we really spoke about the absolute selection and we just, you know, lava lamped the moment and completely just engulfed ourselves in listening to endless amounts of music. More him than me, I have to say. Glenn Ballard really, uh, he got into this project quite a lot. Um, and having him, he was the only one when thinking of, I'm gonna do It's a Man's World, who could I, I, it's just like the, the same, the man that came to mind was Glenn Ballard for me. It was no other person could really complete this project in my mind the way that I wanted to. And he knew me very well and we knew of each other's work. So to me, it would be a perfect ideal match um, if he was available, if he could do it, if, 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 for so many ifs years ago when I thought about this, but, you know. And then you sat down and he, he came up with some things, he shouted some song well, titles. Well, no, I have, I have a lot of uh, B-roll um, of the whole making of uh, the Man It's a Man's World album. And, and truthfully, we, we sat down um, in a room with a piano and there were a lot of songs picked and we sort of would listen to them and say, no. You know, he did a lot more listening and came to the table with choices than I did as far as, I think, in the nutshell of amount. I had ideas of what I wanted to do, um, which was Sweet Child of Mine, Dream On. I actually did want to do Stairway to Heaven, but he said he didn't think that was possible. <laughs> and uh, I had to admire the fact that he is an artist as well, and he didn't believe he could produce that work again the way that he would feel proud. But he said that he believed I would sing it fine. <laughs> but, you know, I was like, yeah, me too. I think I'd sing it great too, you know. So, um, but yeah, I don't think about that other side of like, you know, how hard is the music to do? Because in a way it kind of was seamless. For me even though there are some songs that i looked at vocally that even though i loved you know i went oh no i just i can't even do that i'd love i would have loved to do that song but you know like well I, I, it there were choices of like david bowie and and different stuff like that but i just realized maybe we didn't have similar qualities in our voice that could really pull it off um and even if they're not similar qualities in the voice it just was the match wasn't there for me. I don't know how I can describe it. It's just an instinct that I have when I listen to a song that I knew I could 
sing it. Now, granted, when I went into the studio and actually sang these songs, they didn't become as easy to actually attack them. It was, some of them were, were quite hard to, just to wrap your head around singing, you know. Um, and, and I actually assumed them to be easy. You know, Black Hole Sun, I thought was gonna be, oh, that's such a simple little song. And it was so emotional to do that song because it's quite a dark song. And I didn't realize how heavy it would feel to do it. And I was, whew, I just felt like, you know, I needed to get out of the room and get out of town. Like <laughs> the minute I sang that song, I was like, I need to get out of my own head, you know? Wow, it's, it was pretty heavy duty. But once I sang it and it became a song, that, that energy, was was no longer continual.